And well, for the kids working for us together in these killer fields, the joys of childhood are nothing but fleeting dreams. And if the back-breaking work wasn't hard enough for them, hear it from the children, what all they have to endure in the name of BT Cotton Boom. Gujarat produces half of India's cotton and farmers in northern Gujarat use its BT version to boost yields and lower costs. They also use child labor. The BT cotton plant is smaller than normal cotton and that drives the demand for child workers. For some years now, these cotton fields have become fields of child labor exploitation. કેટલા મણસો લપી ગયા According to a study by a local NGO, 36% of the children working in the farmlands complained of verbal abuse, while 12% faced physical abuse. The children are stuck in the field. They don't let the farmers go out. 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 तो एक तो समस्या ये है कि कुछ दिन काम करवाने के बाद या तो बच्चों को मारपीट करके निकाल देते हैं या तो मजदूरी दिए बिन बच्चों को बोलते हैं चले जाओ हम तो आपको नहीं एजेंट को मैट को पहचान दे गुजरात इज सेट टू बी द स्टेट दैट हैज द हाईएस्ट ग्रोथ रेट इट इज एन इकोनॉमिक पावर हाउस अमंग द स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड हिस्टोरिकली गुजरात इकोनॉमिक वाइब्रेंसी हैज रेस्टेड ऑन द एफिशियंसी एंड प्रॉफिट earned of its cotton fields. What we have on camera proves that vibrant Gujarat and its cotton fields are not really as squeaky white as their cotton. With Kamlesh Sutar, Sujoy, headlines today. All right, and now to talk about these cotton fields of exploitation in Gujarat, we are joined by Kriyan Rabadi. She's the regional director of Child Rights in You. We're also joined by our correspondent Kamlesh Sutar from Mumbai, who brought out that report. So Kamlesh, we'll come to you in just a bit. Let me get a reaction from Kriyan first. Kriyan, it's not that the government is unaware of what's been going on right under their noses. There are task forces that have been set up, the inspections, raids that are carried out. How come they fail so miserably? Uh, is there a sense uh, that you get that there is a lack of willingness on the part of the government to actually crack down on this? Look, there is an existing Child Labour Act 2006 and it has listed 16 industries um, in which uh, children are not allowed to work. Unfortunately, um, agriculture is not listed there and that needs to be listed because if you look at the 17 million children or child laborers in India, it's, it's uh, believed that about 70% of them work in agriculture. So if the act does not address this, um, we will not be giving a large number of children the protection that um, they deserve. All right, since agriculture is not covered, which is why uh, these traffickers are taking care, taking uh, umbrage from that loophole. We just come back to you, uh, Kriyan. Let's also go across to our correspondent, Kamlesh Sutar, who brought out that report. Kamlesh, from your first-hand experience, what is the reason uh, that despite this vigil, this trafficking continues unabated? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. A, primarily uh, this region is uh, the backward region of Gujarat, the 
vibrant Gujarat we talk about is hardly seen in this part, uh, northern Gujarat, uh, the district Sabarkantha, Banaskara districts and uh, the southern part of Rajasthan, uh, the district we mentioned, places like Dungarpur, Shirohi and other parts of Rajasthan. There is extreme poverty. This is the tribal belt of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Uh, education, uh, there is a lack of education, no schools, even if there are schools, uh, one can hardly reach those schools and uh, one of the primary reasons this season particularly starts somewhere between June and July. That is the time when schools are registered, when schools start. So children, uh, uh, the poverty drives their parents to send their kids to the cotton farms of work. They think that they might get some money to run their families. So during that season, children do not go to school, rather they prefer going to the cotton fields to work. They think that they might get money, but uh, as we mentioned, there is exploitation. The mates earn more money than what the children do. And at the end of day, what happens is just exploitation. All right, uh, let me just bring in Kriyan once again at this stage. Kriyan, the seed companies that are actually sponsoring this production, in this case, in BT Cotton's case, we know there are big MNCs like Monsanto that are involved in it. Should they be pulled up? Should their license not be questioned? Why should they continue working if they child labor working in these fields? Anybody, anybody in child labor, labor needs to be pulled up and there needs to be very stringent punishment so that it acts like a deterrent and children are not in labor because we are completely infringing on their rights. So anybody involved in child labor must be booked. All right, uh, so is there a lack of willingness on government parts to stop trafficking? That certainly remains the big question. Many of the reports that have come out from non-governmental organizations now claim that almost entirely all the production that takes place in BT cotton fields in Gujarat is driven by child labor. For the moment, thank you both for joining us and sharing with us your perspective on that story. Time now for us to slip into a short commercial break, but more revelations on Gujarat's dirty cotton fields. That and more on the other side of the bridge. Welcome back. Well, there are villages in bordering Rajasthan where not a single child is seen on the street. They've either been forcibly taken to the cotton fields or parents out of sheer poverty push their children to work. Apart from poverty, lack of education is the reason why authorities and NGOs have failed to check this rampant use of child labor. Kamlesh Sutar reports. We are in the Bhakra village of Udaipur district in Rajasthan. In this entire village, you will hardly get to see any children between the age group of 10 to 15. And even as you see, the schools are almost empty as most of the children from this tribal area go to the neighboring northern Gujarat to work as laborers in the cotton farms. Spread over 5 kilometers, the Bhakra village has one school and one teacher. Some of the students walk five kilometers to reach the school, but that is only for those who attend, and the numbers are dwindling. ये जो BT cotton का season है वो मई से जून में ही आता है और उसमें ही बच्चे का नामांकन करवाना होता है अगले साल के लिए तो अगले साल वो नामांकन नहीं हो पाता है और वो सब बच्चे नामांकन के बावजूद भी BT cotton में चले जाते हैं. Nearly 75% of the population in this belt is tribal and the lack of education makes them vulnerable to exploitation. Most of the cases go unnoticed. Government has been conducting surveillance and raids, but extreme poverty compels parents to push their children to work the cotton fields of Gujarat. According to a survey by some NGOs in Gujarat and Rajasthan, there are over two lakh cotton field workers and out of which one third are children. So the government makes tall claims of rescuing and rehabilitating such children. There are still many more who are working in inhuman conditions and are waiting to be rescued. On the Gujarat and Rajasthan border, with camera person Vaibhav Kangutkar, Kamlesh Sutar for headlines today. Thousands of children being robbed of their innocence and there's little that the government has done so far. With that, it's a wrap on the show right here. Up next, headlines tonight with Saka Jacob.